Hi guys. Time to translate. <laughs> Which I actually feel good. So I hope the overall energy is good. I think I'm gonna put this in the filter of a cartoon. I'm drinking the blue. The cartoon time. Are we watching cartoons? Would you like to watch cartoons? <laughs> I don't know if that's sarcasm or part of the energy, but I think I am going to put the filter as a cartoon filter when I post it. Because I had that option because I post on YouTube. Um, sometimes I put it on my uh, Facebook too, which is Skulls uh, Welcome. So if you're not following me on there, you should. I post good content on there also. Um, I'm just setting up and then I'm going to do the energy to see where it's at. I'm going to use the tarot and traveling deck today. And I've got our hourglass. I feel the need to have this out. Um, before I start shuffling, I'm going to flip it over. But I feel that's an important aspect. And I got our guest also, which is going with Skull's Welcome. It's the shadow side, which is within us, which allows me to be able to translate. Um, which I talk about a lot if you watch my translations. I speak of shadows because they're very active and it's just a part of us that a lot of people don't recognize. They don't... Um, recognize their shadow. I want to say identify, but... They don't recognize their shadow. They think it's like irrelevant, but it's like without your shadow, you can't do anything. Even though sometimes you may look over and you don't see your shadow, it's because your shadow is out taking care of business. <laughs> Seriously. Um, we missed, I got my little wonderful mist, which is water and uh, nice air therapy that I mixed together that sets the mood. I changed bottles too if you noticed. Um, I had the um, blunt effect but I didn't want to sponsor for that because I don't even smoke and I'm not advertising for nobody to do it so I moved over to a blue bottle which makes more sense because it's more of a water base which is in this um, plus the sky for me the ocean, lakes, water reminds me of the sky it's like one of the same aspects but we naturally inhale it at the same time you know it's like as above so below but in the middle also if that makes sense I feel like I'm just going on and on and on I feel like, I, I feel like talking that's probably why I hopped on to translate so I actually feel like talking um Intriguingly, I was just about to relax and finish watching Touched by Angel, but I was like, you know what? I should translate. I'm in the house all by myself, kind of metaphorically. Spirit is always with me, but um, there's no other physical bodies in here. It's just me in this aspect. Um, but I have opened the door up as I normally do, so I can allow all, all the energy to flow. I've been doing a lot of explaining today. That's so intriguing. Like I've been explaining my actions a lot. I've, I caught myself. I'm even doing it now again. Because I normally don't explain myself all the time. I don't like to have to explain myself. Because like, I do what I do because I do what I do. And it always makes sense, you know. But, yeah. I'm going to start with the tarot, as I said. And then... I feel like I skipped something. I was talking about my spread up. Oh. Ah, strength! <laughs> Yay! Um, the air aroma is my strength. Plus the water, which is the sky and the ocean. That's so funnily awesome. <laughs> which I still do want my coffee scent. Just for a quick throw out, if I, FYI. Um, I'm going to 
wind up selling my um somebody told me before I should start a website no she said I should go to school to learn how to do a website and it's like well, I don't need to go to school for that I can just figure out how to do it you know but some guy actually gave me a card he does that already I feel like I should go get his card too and show it but I'll probably take a picture of it or something or just actually use it but he does that already he helps people do that I, that's funny I met him in a uh, Tim Hortons speaking of coffee <laughs> That's super funny. He gave me his card a while ago, but just with me thinking about that and me keep saying I want a coffee scent, like I'm not working on my own. But I do want other people to enjoy things that I know helps me, you know. But I, I'm always one. I'm a giver. It don't seem like it, but I, I'm always giving. That's, that's all I do, you know. But I need to be able to reap benefits in that back, if that makes sense not just giving and giving and giving and it's like where is your growth honey and it's like but i do i give all the, t the time okay that's a lot of cards that just came out what i'm getting at i need to have a fine balance in it that's why i said the website it came into my head asking to be able to sell the stuff that i actually make and use all the time I wanted to see when that was going to stop, what I was talking about. That's why I pulled that out. Um, the hourglass. Other oh, lovers. I got a connection with somebody. And your spouse came out today. And you're manifesting. Your spouse came out today and you're manifesting. Uh, anxiety. Not again. The lovers, there's anxiety. Again. Your spouse. It's a lot of obstacles right now. But your spouse. It don't matter if you are a male or female, but the emperor came out, and that's the one that's manifesting right now. It's your spouse, but there's obstacles right now in between you. That's intriguing. Stuck. How intriguing. That's awesome. You're stuck, but that's your strength. And it's going with the obstacles, which is causing anxiety. That's in, that's so freaking awesome. That's the hot. It's something I speak about a lot, and it causes somehow confusion when I speak of it. As to when it comes to people wonder what my belief is. Um, I normally say I'm a faith walker because I walk by faith. It's like a blindfold, just like your situation that you're in. You're blindfolded, but you have guidance, and you're stuck, and you're blindfolded. But the sword you're symbolizing is a justice base. You being stuck is not the painful, I mean, it's not the most painful thing. I guess metaphorically, when you know, you understand faith, and walking by it, you know you're not seeing it. You feel it. That's a tricky one. Because you do see it. You see signs. But it's not... Hmm. That's that's a tricky one. That's a hard to explain a little bit, but it's not. Cause you you do see it, but you don't at the same time. It's more of this aspect, but it come in this aspect. If that makes sense. Um, cause you may see colors. Colors may be your signs. Numbers may be your signs that the eternal realm is giving you for guidance. Like this light right now that's beaming down on me. It feels like it's a sign, for sure. Definitely when I just was watching Touched by Angel. That's what that's reminded me of, intriguingly. But it may mean something else to you. Who knows? But um, the color of my hair, you know. There's all types of signs that the universe gives you for your guidance. Um, it could even be smells, you know. Um, it's part of your senses, you know. He knows what you pay attention to. Um... That's why I gave a few examples because 
what my signs may be may not be your signs. Like me using these cards and showing you it may be totally irrelevant to you. You might get the whole message out of my outfit, the blinds, my hair, you know. He knows how to communicate with his children. <laughs> it's just, what do you pay attention to? Um, but that's your strength. You being blindfolded, your faith is your strength. That's awesome. I think I want to put more cards for this because your spouse have a lot to do with your anxiety. But it's going with you being stuck. It seems like they might not understand faith. It's kind of intriguing. It's something me and my sunny boo was talking about, honestly. I'm a, I think that's exactly what it is because it seems like I don't do much, but I do a lot because my purpose is not the same as everybody else's. And if they don't see you out being a slave, you're not doing nothing, you know? But it's like, I do a lot. You know, I, I move very quickly. It's just my purpose ain't the same as everybody else's. It can benefit them, but it's not the same, bro. And they may not understand that. It may seem like they want you to do something else in the career aspect, which can be causing anxiety. It's making me think of um, a saying that I hear a lot, and I have even experienced it, which is intriguing. A lot of people don't understand your purpose, and it's normally the ones that's close to you. Like, they will totally throw you off and have you go in the wrong direction other than where your faith is leading you because they don't understand it. But it's your spouse that's doing it. That's the intriguing part. Ay ay ay. I'm pulling another card for that. And I can definitely relate to that. That's the intriguing part. And I just literally had this type of conversation with my son. He got on me. He was like, that's why you're stuck. You're not moving because all you do is just pretty much lay around. But it's like Look, sir, I get to operate like a Buddha. I'm sorry that I don't have to be a slave unless I just want to go and do some volunteer work, you know, or something of that nature. But actually, this, this is kind of volunteer work, but it's what I meant to do, you know, which will come with benefits as I go, you know, as long as I don't stop, you know. <laughs> but it, it's like it's hard for even him to understand because the other person that's in the house with us they have to leave out for their purpose to build a foundation for them. But it's like, I keep saying that I grow with my family. You know, it's like a family tree. My type of work, I don't have to do too much. I don't ever have to leave out the house <laughs> unless I want to, which I actually do enjoy sometimes just getting out and translating outside or, you know, going to the store instead of having somebody bring the stuff here to me. You know, I actually like to go to the store and shop myself <laughs> you know and I only say that because you know they got people that bring your food to you which I think is intriguing you know it works for some people but for a person like me who literally never have to leave the house I enjoy when I get to leave the house I want to go do it <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so intriguing to say but seriously I really don't ever have to even for me in the website that I was just talking about I do that all from home. Divine communication. I put that back in the wrong spot. That's intriguing because the way I set the card back down is symbolizing uh, your strength is your spouse. So that could be a message for somebody. Your spouse is your strength. But that's just what I said, actually. The way I grow my success, my foundation, I grow with my family. Even how I just explained with my son how I just gave an example with my son as to he didn't understand what I'm doing. But it's only because other people gave him a different perspective as to this is the only way it can go. So that's awesome that I actually got to explain it and seeing it at the same time when I set the cards back down. That was intriguing. But, um, yeah, I grew up my family. How did I grow up my family? Just an example I just gave. That's a quick example as to. I was able to use my family for an example. Experiences we go through, things of that nature is how we grow. I translate for us, you know.
but divine communication does that. Because I, I get to operate like an angel. You pray, you seek, here I am. That That's what tarot is. I'm translating the energy that's already put out. And you're seeking, here you go. <laughs> and it came out. You have divine communication eyes into... She's communicating with a chirper, which if you watch my videos and I explained this a good amount of time using this card, to me, chirpers symbolize angels. They can go up there, fly around, and come back and bring you the message. This is that same aspect. For, but for a person like me, I operate like a Buddha. Like, I haven't got it tatted on me. <laughs> like, right on my little flex, too. Because that's really what I operate like. Like, I receive, but I don't have to move too much to do it. If that makes sense. Oh, you're manifesting. I cannot again. The Ace of Wands. This is abracadabra business, though. You're manifesting. You're manifesting like abracadabra, like a magician. I'm surprised that card didn't come out. But it's your spouse. It's the Emperor. It's giving you the opportunity to operate like a magician. This comes in a different, a good amount of forms because. Even with the lovers, how I explained it, as into your spouse is your strength. Either they on a spiritual base, because most of my translations are based off of marriage, which leads you to a oneness, which explains, you know, how you can communicate eternally. Because this would just seem like your your spouse is giving you a chance to operate like a magician. Either this is the eternal realm, like they really are deceased, but not really, they just on the other side and they can still guide you. Oh, that's so intriguing. It's just something that I thought about because sometimes this was watching, but I didn't even get to finish it. It's called the death do us part. But if you understand the definition of oneness in the eternal realm, you know there's no separation. Like it, it doesn't matter. It, the best way I can explain it is like a widow. How they still be feeling their spouse like they're still there. They still smell them. They never left you. Y'all y'all really had the definition of oneness. You know. But intriguingly while we're here we do have an understanding as into death do us part. Which I guess is fair to an extent. So when you do come back you can start over. You know I do believe in reincarnation. Um. With, you should too, but you know some people have different perspectives on it. But we do come back in different forms. If you come back the same form, you might watch too many scary movies, yo. You don't come back in the same form, but you know, maybe, maybe. But you don't come back in the form, same form. That's why you get to start over again. So I guess that's why it's fair to death do its part, so you can't start over. But if you really understand why you got married. You know, y'all not separating. You just should have a conversation while you're here as to how it should go when you go to the other side. Do they want you to move on? Which they normally do, but if they don't, then you should have never enter into that, what you think is oneness, because it's not even oneness, because it might not go right, honestly. Just like how people are together at the moment, as soon as you break up with them and they get with somebody else, it's just like, mm mm. It's that same type of energy because y'all didn't have a conversation as y'all should have. See, what happened is if I dip out and go to the other side. That's kind of so hard to explain. But I don't want to say die because they don't die. But this physical form, this sh they gone and shed to a whole different form. And they still will guide you. It's just, did you pay enough attention to them while they were here? Being that they like, like me. I'm always talking about a chirper being an angel. I think my spouse should definitely know, pay attention to the birds, pay attention to water. You know, those would be signs I probably would give because those are things I speak about a lot while I'm here, you know. But, um, yeah. I feel like it's something else I want to say about that because that seems so important because it's, so lovers is part of it. 
Well, I can get the rest of the example that I about the, um, your spouse helping you manifest. Either they are on the other side, this side, and they're still guiding you, but are you paying attention to the signs that they're sending you? Or do you really think they just, they really died, they just gone? Or you're both physically here, but y'all understand the faith aspect and eternal, how y'all can guide each other no matter where y'all at, using a shadow form. Because your shadows get a lot of work done. And if y'all got one that y'all definitely using shadows, and y'all can manifest that way if y'all are using shadows. Because it don't no matter where you guys are at, your shadows will connect with you and with other people to get the job done for you guys. Because y'all have that oneness. So, either form is what's happening with you and your spouse. Whether they on the other side or they're physically here with you, but y'all physically may not be together. I'm going to pull a card for that. Y'all may not physically be together, but y'all shadows are together or getting the work done, if that makes sense. And I, I say if it makes sense because sometimes it don't make sense, which you're probably not there. You're not at that part of the maze. You may not even be with nobody, you know, which you can maybe benefit from something that I'm saying to you, but it's not for you, you know. It's something I've been saying a lot. Because people have been getting offended by things that I've been saying. And it's like, if the shoe don't fit, why are you trying to make it fit? It's not, it's not for you, you know. Even if it seems like I'm talking to your physical body, I'm probably not even talking to your physical body. If it don't make sense to you, it's not for you. <laughs> Which, it been kind of driving me crazy because it's like, man. I'm one who really don't like to talk. I really don't. I talk when I need to. That's why I was surprised. They're like, I feel like talking intriguingly. I'm even doing a lot of explaining today. That's super intriguing. <laughs> it's good, you know, honestly. That means I'm able to take my time. Even though, honestly, I feel like I'm rushing a little bit. I feel, maybe it's the excitement. I feel excited for some intriguing reason. I just do. Not that I'm not supposed to be excited, but I feel excited, honestly. Look at these cards over. You got a lot of manifestation happening right now. From being able to operate like a magician, which is abracadabra. Oh, y'all not together. I was going to pull another card out. But um, I did, but it was already freaking out. I just was so busy talking about what I was talking about. I didn't realize it was sitting right there. Yeah. Y'all not together. Even though this image is, it seemed like y'all face to face, y'all not together. Why y'all manifesting. And I say that because this person is by themselves and they're manifesting. They're not together. Y'all could be. It'd probably be even better. Because on this card, I do got the 10 on there, which is a balance. When y'all actually do come together, it'll probably be a super duper duper balance, honestly. That's when the balance will come. We all come together. Y'all not together right now. Y'all separated and manifesting. Oh, that's so oh, That's exactly what it is. Uh. Oh. That is so awesome. Eternal gain is so awesome. I tell you no lie. Ah, boy, oh boy. Or like my other translator said, she say, angel gang, gang, gang. <laughs> it's like lyrically. They're not together. This, you can even hear the chirpers out there going. That's so funny. It's really awesome. This is your spouse. So I'm taking it. This is a guy, but it could be a female. But I'm going to leave it as a guy, as the emperor. There you your spouse right there. Communicating with the chirpers. Which is them manifesting. Y'all are manifesting separately. That is so awesome. But it's still going either way I just said about, you know. Whether they are already on the eternal side. Like their physical body has stopped. They're still guiding you. To help you out. While you're still here. That's the definition of love. Because sometimes people say they love you. But if y'all separate or something. They, they think they're not no longer supposed to help you. It's like. But it's like, if you love somebody, no matter if y'all together or not, you still want the best for them. And this person seems to want the best for you if they're on the other side and still guiding you. 
That's so freaking nice. What else we get? Hold on. That was some cards. That was. That's so freaking nice. This is a nice translation. This is better than the translation I just did recently. The energy was so intense. I had to stop. Like I never had a translation where the energy was so tense, where it just really made me sick to my stomach and just like. I had to stop recording. It really made me sad. It was a lot going on. Like pain. And the anxiety with the pain was a lot. But it was coming from your spouse. That's the intriguing part. And it came out again. But it seemed like they don't understand your career, your purpose. Like they don't seem faith based. You may marry somebody or be with somebody who's not faith based. Which that definitely seemed like a oh boy. <laughs> Cause they, they're not y'all not gonna understand each other. I feel like I'm gonna go down memory lane a little bit. <laughs> I think I do want to go down memory lane. It's gonna be quick, but it's kind of intriguing. Cause my mom was married to my stepdad. They not married no more, but they were married for a long time. Long cause since I was two to I was like sixteen, I believe. Then they wound up going their own different ways. My mom got married to somebody else, but my mom raised us in the church. She liked to go to church every Sunday, maybe on Wednesday. I think Wednesday was Bible study, but I ain't gonna get into that part right now. But my stepdad didn't like to go to church. He'd rather stay at home and watch cartoons. That's the funny part. That's kind of funny if I said make this a cartoon filter, but uh. He'd rather stay at home and watch cartoons. My mom used to get upset by that. It's like, I don't know if it was the idea of what people would think. Like, you're married while your husband don't come to church, you know. Um, but the one time he did go to church, he got bit by a bee. He was so freaking upset. He never went back. But it always was a, a negative energy because she wanted him to go with her, but he didn't want to. He, he didn't believe in that faith aspect. He wasn't raised on that. And the one time he did go, he got bit by a freaking bee and he just was done. <laughs> Although I think that's funny. It's just. That was his experience. That's the best one I can give. Because one, he did not want to go. That's the intriguing part. Um, and then when he did, when he got bit by a bee, he just was so upset. He nicely grabbed the bee and he put it in his pocket and later on, I think he burned it or something. It was intriguing. He got into some satanic stuff but um what I'm getting at was the energy how you have faith in something and you see a, a path that you're meant to go in but the person that you connect yourself with didn't understand it they didn't even understand you know I said they he didn't even understand why he got bit by the bee it may it be a beneficial reason why that happened, but he just stopped going. And he was upset, you know, but. That's kind of funny, too, because when I even think about that, I watched one of my translators yesterday, and she had a bee in her window, and she was afraid of it, but she actually wanted to get it out. Because she didn't want to kill it, she let it go out the door or something, but that's intriguing how those two connect together, but. When I'm saying that. Um. I think I'm just gonna leave it at that because I think that was intriguing. <laughs> but, um, which is just some people were like, see, that's why he didn't go because he got bit by the bee. <sighs> I believe it was for a reason why he got bit by the bee, you know. It, it could have been a love bite, okay? Not a reason not to come back, you know. Maybe that was a little discipline for him sometimes. Lessons that we have that God give us, the eternal realm give us, we don't understand it. We may even get upset and say, you know, bump God and, you know, all those things that we get upset because we don't understand it, but later on, it makes sense. I have had a few of those lessons and I'm still going through some of them. It's just like, the ones that I've been through, I understand, but while I'm in the situation, it's like, yo, God, where are you at? Are you asleep, eternal realm? What are you doing? You know, but patience, what's that? It's something I was thinking about, honestly. As into, they said the early bird, the early bird get the worm. 
but it's like the patient bird get further. You learn more lessons than reacting so quickly. And then that seems like when I'm getting that attitude, the patient bird get further. The more lessons you learn, the better you be. Instead of how sometimes I get, I like to move quickly. I am still working on patience. I do pray about patience. Even though it seems like I'm the most patientest person ever, I have a hard time sometimes with sitting still. Definitely when other people are helping me. I come off impatient. But we all got work to do. I feel like, did I just say I did something wrong? <laughs> it's something I get told a lot. Like, you don't ever think you do nothing wrong. <laughs> I say I learned every day. I really do learn something every freaking day. But, um... Things are coming together that you're manifesting. These are this came out yesterday too. These are different foundations coming together. You're working with other people that's in maybe different religions, a culture base. It's a different structure that's coming together. That even kind of go with I just how I started the translation off as into people ask me what my belief is, what religion I follow, and I don't respond back other than I'm a faith walker um, or I just say I do spiritual work because all the religions is based off a of spirit off of this aspect you you're not seeing somebody unless you know you have a I don't have a cross I don't have any crosses in the home I used to have one cross but where I'm staying that ain't actually my place I just stay here I kind of do shared living or something of that nature, a shelter aspect where I just stand with a bunch of random, it's not a bunch of people, but, you know, I just stay with some people, but it's not actually my place, I just stay here, but there's no crosses around here, which, it's intriguing because lately, they've been wearing crosses, which I think is so nice to an extent, because it's like, do you actually believe in what you're wearing, like, I don't wear crosses, I, I just don't, um, I just don't. It caused confusion. But for me, it's dying and being reborn again. Um, that's what I, I think of when I have a cross. Like, I had one up where I was standing at. It's kind of intriguing that I'm explaining it. Cause it's like, I'm back in the place I used to stay at, but somebody else stay in it, if that makes sense. And now I live back in here. It's, it, it's kind of like dying and being reborn. I lost my place. I got evicted out of my place. But... The person I was on a lease with, he just took my name off and he just started staying here himself, which is my ex. Um, but I have moved back in with him. That's why I feel like actually dying and being reborn again. It's like, you right back in here. Didn't we just evict you, yo? Uh, we killed you. What you doing back? And I came back in the same form. How about that? Ah, uh, pain. Ay, 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 pain. What's this pain? Your spouse, uh, spouse cause a lot of doggone pain. 